you're kind of shunned upon, so we do kind of form a tight-knit group. A lot of the residents here in Horry County, they don't want to see the homeless. They themselves, they don't want to be homeless. If you ask, is Myra Polymeris? I got some blankets, by the way, and some pants. How long she's been coming out to the homeless camps behind Grissom Parkway in Myrtle Beach, she'll say. Years. There's at least 200 people that are homeless living in small compounds like this, all probably within a two mile radius of street reach and helping hands. John Davis has recently joined the camps. I got laid off of my job and I've been over there for a little over a month now. And what is that like? Um, sobering, very humbling. Um, I have a degree in computer science from Kent State in Ohio, and the job market in, in the field that I was in is saturated, and it's really hard right now. I have my resume on careerbuilders.com. I've sent it out to a bunch of people. I put in a lot of paper applications, and there's uh, nobody calling me. So day to day, Davis says it's between a food kitchen looking for a job. There's very few places that the homeless are allowed to hang out in public. Uh, they consider it loitering. Uh, the library is a fantastic resource to go, spend time on the internet, read newspapers, things like that. And here, with people like John Gibson. He's been in the camps the longest, two years. He showed where last night one in their camp woke up and was on fire. With nights like that, what gets him through? My family. For real, I got, I got seven girls. Pretty hard, he got infected twice. Matthew Randall's another one of his Myra's regulars. He's been coming to her for medical help for a blister. Because I didn't have no insurance. Mm -hmm. But as the sun sets on the group, and small fires become their only source of light. And it goes falls back to safety in numbers. He says that's the least of his worries out in the woods. Stupid people, and uh, ones that don't like the homeless and they come in and they, you know, they try to hurt people.